NASA is gearing up for an ambitious project known as the Titan Saturn System Mission, scheduled for launch in 2034. Prior to this mission, scientists sent three spacecraft to explore Saturn and its moons, unearthing fascinating discoveries about this distant planetary system. One of the remarkable findings is that Saturn, the giant gas planet and its moon, Titan, have a captivating story to tell. Scientists already sent three spacecraft to Saturn and its satellite. Titan, in particular, has garnered special attention due to its striking similarities to our very own Earth. The most compelling of these parallels is the presence of vast oceans on its surface, reminiscent of Earth's expansive bodies of water. However, what truly astonished scientists was the discovery of essential life-enabling compounds on Titan. These findings open the door to the possibility of life forms that might have adapted to the extreme conditions of this distant moon. The implications of such a discovery are profound, as they could offer insights into the adaptability of life beyond Earth. In this video, we will delve into the details of this ambiguous mission. We'll address the K questions that have piqued with the curiosity of many, such as the challenges faced by the spacecraft, the potential characteristics of any Titanian life, the recreational possibilities on Titan, and the methods employed to detect life on Saturn's moon. However, reaching Titan is no simple task. The region of our solar system that houses Saturn and its moons remains relatively uncharted territory. It was not until 1979 with the Pioneer 11 mission that we obtained our first glimpse of Saturn. This initial image, though revolutionary, could be likened to one taken with a primitive device. Subsequently, the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 missions in the 1980s significantly expanded our understanding of Saturn, providing a wealth of valuable data and high-resolution images. These missions revealed that Saturn is not just adorned with a few iconic rings, but is encircled by thousands of them. Yet they did not provide conclusive evidence of life on the planet or its moons. It wasn't until 2004 that the interplanetary spacecraft, Cassini-Huygens, entered the scene. Over a span of three decades, this probe embarked on a photographic journey, capturing a staggering 450,000 high-resolution images. These images unveiled Saturn's captivating but destructive nature as it cannibalized its own rings, with matter being absorbed into its tumultuous atmosphere and storms. However, the most captivating revelations came from Titan, Saturn's largest moon, where Cassini identified vast lakes of liquid hydrocarbons. This sets the stage for NASA's ambitious plan to send a nuclear-powered drone to Titan, a mission that has faced multiple postponements. The clock is ticking, and scientists must overcome numerous challenges to ensure the success of this mission, which seeks to discover extraterrestrial life. To avoid the pitfalls of previous space endeavors, we must reflect on the obstacles that previous missions encountered. Calculating the precise trajectory is the initial hurdle. Launching Cassini, a craft comparable in size to a school bus, necessitated the use of gravity assist maneuvers involving three different planets, including two flybys of Venus and a high-speed pass by Earth. After this extensive journey, Cassini was finally able to achieve the necessary velocity to reach Saturn. However, the greatest danger to the spacecraft lay in Saturn's rings, comprised of countless tiny particles ranging from the size of a fingernail to that of a building. Even a collision with the smallest of these particles could spell disaster for Cassini. Remarkably, the probe survived over 100,000 encounters with micrometeoroids largely unscathed, thanks to thermal blankets, lightweight, resilient layers that protected the spacecraft from extreme temperatures and micrometeoroid impacts. As we look forward to future missions, it would be prudent to consider employing similar protective layers for the spacecraft's service module. These thermal blankets, which have proved invaluable, could play a vital role in safeguarding the mission's success. This may indeed bring a touch of fashion to the realm of space exploration, as protective clothing is adapted to the latest trends in material science. Nevertheless, 
The most formidable challenge that lies ahead is the delicate task of landing the spacecraft on Titan. When Huygens, Cassini's probe, descended through Titan's enigmatic atmosphere, its heat shield had to endure temperatures as high as 1,500 degrees Celsius. Miraculously, it withstood this fiery ordeal and landed safely on Titan's surface. This marked a historic achievement, making Huygens the first and, to date, the only vehicle to successfully land on the outer fringes of our solar system. With the upcoming mission, it is essential to take into account the intricacies of landing on Titan, as this will be the moment of truth for assessing the moon's habitability. Titan stands as a unique celestial body in our solar system, comparable to Earth in its possession of rivers, lakes, oceans, and even rain. The key difference lies in the composition of Titan's liquid bodies, which are filled with methane and ethane. Scientists speculate that unique forms of life may exist there, potentially employing biological processes unlike anything we've encountered on Earth. In 2018, NASA scientists identified the presence of vinyl cyanide in Titan's atmosphere. This compound could potentially be a component of microorganisms' cell membranes. Furthermore, it might serve as a foundational building block for exotic life forms that are resilient to the incredibly low temperatures, dropping as low as minus 200 degrees Celsius. On Earth, no known organisms can withstand such extreme conditions. Nevertheless, scientists postulate that life forms residing in Titan's methane oceans might have evolved to endure these harsh environmental realities. Cassini, despite its extensive mission, did not definitively answer the question of whether life exists on Saturn's moon. It is the hope that the new mission will hold the key to this profound mystery. In 2034, NASA intends to dispatch a robotic rotorcraft called Dragonfly to Titan. This venture is an integral part of the Titan-Saturn system mission and will involve descending to the moon's surface to collect samples for analysis using specialized augers. If the conjecture that life exists on Titan holds true, it introduces an intriguing query. Can we replicate the success of these life forms and adapt to life on Titan? The magnitude of this undertaking is colossal. American scientists have calculated that a crew of 400 individuals embarking on a mission to Titan would necessitate a payload of 24,000 tons. The financial commitment for such an endeavor would be approximately $16 billion annually. Imagine for a moment that you secure a ticket to Titan. What lies ahead? Firstly, Titan's surface is characterized by frigid temperatures, with an average of minus 180 degrees Celsius. In contrast, the lowest temperature ever recorded on Earth in Antarctica stands at a comparably balmy minus 84 degrees Celsius. The clothing designed for polar exploration can withstand temperatures down to minus 50 degrees, while a spacesuit can handle minus 180 degrees. However, Titan's environment demands entirely new models of warm clothing along with masks and air tanks to ensure your survival. The adjustment to wearing such clunky and uncomfortable equipment, even for individuals who have become accustomed to masks during the pandemic, is a challenge. Taking a leisurely stroll to admire Titan's beauty becomes a Herculean task. The one advantage lies in Titan's weak gravitational force, which is just 14% of Earth's, effectively allowing Titanians to fly. To complete your ensemble for a Sunday stroll on Titan, wingsuits will become a necessity, as traditional garments will not suffice. While the exquisite ensembles donned by Victoria's secret models may be inappropriate, Practical gear, such as that used for skydiving or wingsuit flying, will prove invaluable. Your vacation options on Titan may not resemble those on Earth, but a visit to a Titanian seaside could be a memorable experience. For instance, the Crockett Mare on Titan is roughly the size of the Black Sea. Swimming, unfortunately, is not an option, but a boat trip across this vast liquid expanse could offer a unique perspective. However, the boat used for this adventure would need to be exceptionally robust, given the extreme conditions of Titan. Titan's distinctive temporal characteristics add an additional layer of complexity to life on this moon. A single day on Titan 
lasts 16 times longer than an Earth day, while a year on Titan is equivalent to 29 Earth years. This means that Christmas celebrations would occur just once every three decades, a rather somber prospect. The potential for toxic clouds in Titan's stratosphere further complicates life on this distant